Hi everybody, today I received some new accessories from Pitbus for the griddles. Um, you know that the ceramic griddles are very, very hard. The ceramic coating is just amazing. It's really easy to clean. But if you use uh, stainless steel tools like a stainless steel spatula, or uh, you can still uh, scratch or damage uh, that griddle, okay? so. Um, it's more than two months, three months now that I use my uh, stainless steel uh, spatulas and to be honest, I don't have any issue with the ceramic coating, but <sighs> this is my job. So uh, I'm so uh, used to work with those tools that are uh, uh, since so many years that I don't make um, mistakes uh with with my tools okay but um i know that it can be dangerous to use stainless steels or steel uh tools so uh pit bus made silicone uh tools and this set it's a five piece uh tool set and this set is really fantastic so let's check what are the five pieces of that tool set you get two uh, closed spatulas, okay, uh, that are just perfect to work on the on the griddle and to uh, uh, to clean the griddle, to push the greases in the grease drawer, uh, and even to cut uh, the vegetables or the meat uh, directly on the griddle without scratching uh, the griddle. Okay, you get two regular spatula too. Okay, and you get that brush, which is great because you can replace the pad okay the cleaning pad uh, so i will show you in another video how to perfectly clean that griddle okay and with that brush you receive another uh, spare part another uh, pad uh, for later i also received that kit which are just two uh, different pads uh, to uh, replacement pads okay and now i need to smile because i received the press and you know in Europe, when you are talking about a griddle press, you imagine a press like that. No, I received a press <laughs> for for the, the griddle. And this one is really huge, as you can see. Uh, this is the American way. Um, and it's fantastic because you can, uh, of course, make smash burgers and, but, the main functionality of and the size of that press is, for example, if you are cooking bacon, uh, the bacon will be pressed and will stay perfectly flat. It will not crawl, uh, you know, the mess uh, with the bacon. So this press is just great. And the last thing that I received is <laughs> also, also huge. This is a cover, okay. Uh, you already know that you can cook with the lid closed uh, on that griddle, okay. But let's say that you really prefer uh, or you really want to cook uh, with the lid open, okay, you can use that, uh, that cover, uh, for example, to melt the cheese uh, on your burger. So I will show you that immediately with smash burger, okay? This is way more comfortable than the stainless steel um, spatula. Do you know why I uh, put some butter? No, because it's good. Butter is always good. All right, now I will add some sugar to caramelize the onions. This is so good. And now I will put the onions here on the side so they will caramelize. Take the time to do the things. All right, let's smash some burger now.
Look at that. Put the cheese. And as I told you, now you can cover all the burger at one time with that lid. Oh, look, this is perfect. Ready. Now I like to put some uh, chop house steak uh, rub or seasoning from Pit Bus. And as you can see, I didn't put any sauce on top because when it's good, you don't need sauce. All right. This is our smashed burger on the Pit Bus griddle. It's fantastic. We just have to clean the griddle This is always the same process. When the grill is warm, you can put some water if you want to degrease everything. And when it's cold, put some cold water. It's easy. And if you have some residue, then you just have to use the scrapping brush. And that's it. It's already ready for the next time. So that video is over. Uh, I hope you appreciate it. I really love to make that kind of video. I don't know why, but I, I like it. Mm. Mm. This is so good.